Hi, this is Steven Johnson with JoomlaHostingReviews.com and today we'll be installing Joomla at Bluehost using Simple Scripts, which is a one-click installer for Joomla and uh, get you up and running with your first Joomla site in no time. So let's head on over to the computer and get started. Before you begin, you will need a Bluehost account. After you have signed up, Bluehost will send you a username and password or your domain name and password. And you will also need your DNS configured, which means having your domain name pointed towards the Bluehost server. If you don't know how to do this, Bluehost technical support will be happy to help you with this task. Step 1. Log into the Bluehost control panel. You will need to go to Bluehost.com and in the upper right hand corner you will see a button that says Control Panel Logon. Go ahead and click on this. Step 2. Bluehost Account Manager Login. You will now be presented with the Account Manager Login screen. Go ahead and enter in your domain name and your password or in some instances you can enter in your Bluehost username and password. Enter that and then click Login. Step 3. Click Simple Scripts. You've now logged into the Bluehost control panel, so scroll down and look for Simple Scripts. This is located under the Software Services section. Step 4. Select Joomla. Under the Content Management section, you will see Joomla. The version number here will vary. At this time, 1.6.6 was present, but you may be looking at Joomla 1.7 or Joomla 2.5, depending on what point in the future you are watching this. Step 5. Start the Joomla installation. Now that you've selected Joomla out of the Simple Scripts section, go ahead and click the Install button to start the process. Step 6. Enter your Joomla admin and database details. Here you want to select which version of Joomla you will install. If you aren't sure or starting a new site, you want to go ahead and select the most recent version of Joomla. Next, select the domain where you will be installing Joomla. For most people, you probably only have one option but if you have multiple domains, be sure that you have the correct one installed. Also, if you have an existing site, you can specify a subdirectory for Joomla to go into. Joomla needs to go into an empty directory so that everything works okay. If you're doing a brand new site and on a new domain, leave the directory off as this just alleviates confusion and potential issues. The second part of this step is you can select some advanced options. First, we have the ability to install sample data, so let's talk about sample data for a second. If you're new to Joomla, sample data is very helpful. It installs all your menu items, categories, articles, and other parts of Joomla that go ahead and help you see how it is all put together and configured. Once you've been through Joomla several times, uh, you won't need to install sample data as it sort of gets in the way. So if you're new to Joomla, install the sample data. If you're an experienced Joomla user, you can leave the sample data out. Next, you want to enter your site name, and this should be a human readable name and generally just one to three words. Next, we want to specify our Joomla admin username and password. You can go with the admin or you can create a specific one. The standard admin username in Joomla is admin, and we recommend going with something custom to add a little bit extra security. Additionally, you want to have a high value or high, highly secure password. Below here, you can have the ability to create a new database or specify one of your own. The best to leave this box checked so that a database is created automatically. If you're familiar with creating databases, you do have the ability to enter in uh, custom values here. But if you're not familiar with it, just go ahead and leave the box checked so that uh, the database is automatically created. Now we need to agree to the terms and conditions and then click the complete button. Step 7, the Joomla install confirmation. Now Joomla has been installed and you're able to see your domain name where Joomla is installed, the login URL for the administrator, your Joomla username and password. Additionally, an email will be sent to your Bluehost email address that you use to sign up for your account with all the same information. So you want to save this in a secure place so in case you lose this information you're able to log back and get back into your Joomla site. So congratulations, you now have Joomla installed. Step 8. View your new Joomla site. 
So now we can either click the button or you can type in yourdomainname.com and you can go to the front end of your website. If you installed sample data, then your Joomla site should look something like this. Now keep in mind if you have a version different than the one that we installed, it may look slightly different, but you should get, be able to get the picture. Step nine, the last part is uh, go to the Joomla administrator control panel. So go to yourdomainname.com slash administrator, enter in your Joomla admin username and password, and log in so you can start configuring Joomla. And the back end is where you'll be doing most of your work to get started. So congratulations, you now have Joomla installed. So that's how we install Joomla at Bluehost using Simple Scripts, which is a one-click installer. Uh, we hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, head over to the Joomla Hosting Reviews forum. Additionally, we'd really appreciate if you could leave a review of Bluehost or any other hosting companies that you've run Joomla with. It's a huge help to the site as well as all of your fellow Joomla users. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and good luck with your first Joomla site. Thanks.